Do you want to get into hunting? Do you want to put your own meat on your own table? Do you want to go out and enjoy God's country and enjoy the wilderness? Do you want to experience the rush of harvesting your first ever animal? Do you want to experience the rush of harvesting your first trophy? There are many reasons why people would want to get into hunting. Me personally, personally, I love the outdoors and I love to put my own meat on my own table. How's it going guys? My name is Albert and I'm with Ballista Archery. And today we're going to be discussing about some of the key steps to get closer to get your boots on the ground and start hunting. There are many reasons why people want to get into hunting. Me personally, I hunt to put food on the table and two, I love being in the outdoors and experiencing this wonderful world that we live on. Now, if you don't know where to start, today we will be going over the steps on how to start hunting. So stay tuned and learn. All right, the first step is taking a hunter safety course. In the hunter safety course, you will learn about ethics, rules and regulations, and hunting practices. Now, it's important to know what ethics are and to understand your ethics. Just because something is legal doesn't make it ethical. For example, you might have a deer standing 250 yards away but you're only comfortable shooting at 100 yards. Now, to each their own, but to one person, they can shoot far distances and be totally confident in their shot. However, if you're not confident in your shot and you've only shot at 100 yards, you might make an unethical shot. Now, that doesn't mean that shooting a deer at 250 yards plus isn't legal, it just makes it unethical for you, the hunter, if you're not confident at shooting at those distances. Another thing you will learn in your hunter safety course is about your state's rules and regulations. Every state has its own regulations and rules. And within a state, there are different counties, boundaries, districts, and a bunch of other things that you will learn about in your hunter safety course. <clears throat> Thanks to COVID, a lot of hunter safety courses are now held online. Back when I did hunter safety, it was a mandatory in-person class. Now, because most courses are online, you're able to do them from the comfort of your home. Just go onto Google or Safari and type in your state at huntersed.com. Now that you've completed the course, usually you will go to a field day and in this field day, you will experience hands-on learning on how to field dress, scout, search for blood, and a number of other practical things for the woods. Congratulations. Now you've completed your course and you have hunter safety certificate. Make sure to hold on to that and don't lose that because you're gonna need that next. Now you will go to a local licensed distrib distributor or once again, you can find licenses and tags online. Just search up your state and hunting licenses. From there on, you can purchase a license. Let's talk about gear real quick. Depending where you live, gear might slightly change. However, it is important to one, have a great weapon of choice. Now, depending on the game you're hunting, the caliber of rifle might change. And same goes to a bow. The poundage of your bow will depend on the size of game you're hunting. Now, when it comes to clothing, don't get sucked into the trap of wanting to get the most expensive gear, most expensive branding company out there to think that that'll make you a better hunter. Don't forget, it's not your gear or the camo that you use, but it's the actual hunter. I know plenty of guys that have shot monster bucks every, or they shoot monster bucks every single year and they hunt in blue jeans and a throw on top flannel, nothing crazy. Now that we got that out of the way, Let's talk about scouting and getting your boots on the ground. One of the first things you might want to do is run into the woods and start looking for an animal and just wanting to blast away. Trust me, we all want to do that. However, in order to find an animal, you got to locate them first. Or in order to harvest an animal, you got to find them first. And that might be a little more difficult than you expected. It is important to start scouting early in the season to locate where your species is. In this example, let's talk about the typical white-tailed deer. You might think that these deer are running around everywhere and you'll go into the woods 
especially if you're on public land, you're thinking that you're going, you're going to go into the woods and you're going to see deer everywhere. Most of the time, that's not the case. Plus, there's other hunter pressure, just the lay of the land, habitat, feed, water, all these things depend or variables of where the deer will be. So it's important to hop onto Google Maps or Google Earth and Onyx and start e-scouting and researching where the deer are most likely to be. be. Now, I did mention Onyx, and if you don't have Onyx already, I recommend getting Onyx right away. Onyx is a wonderful app that shows you private and public access to your state. To your state. It also has a handful of tools like tracking, offline maps, regulations within the app, and a handful of other tools. So, I highly recommend getting Onyx as soon as you can. Yeah, that you like and you know where the deer are hanging out. Now, before you go out into the woods, make sure you know how to field dress a deer properly and how to take care of the meat right away. Because once you have that deer on the ground, you have to move quickly and efficiently. And if you don't know what you're doing and you might not have service, that won't be fun. So make sure you watch plenty of tutorials on how to field dress a deer, how to pack them out, and all the right steps on taking a deer out of the woods and putting it onto your table. All right guys, and that's a wrap for today's video. So to wrap it all up, hunter safety course, field day, tags and licenses, gear, scouting. And the last thing I wanna mention is safety. Always tell a partner where you're headed and what time you plan on coming back because many things can happen in the woods. You can get lost, hurt, even potentially killed. God forbid. However, it is always important to let someone know. Hey, your truck might even break down and you might be stranded. It's important to always let someone know where you are. And that's a wrap for today's video and I'll see you guys in the next video.